Hi, uh, my name's Kimberly Reed, and I, there's a lot of uh, exciting talk about these mergers going on, um, and I'm very, very happy about all of those, but I think I, I might just have the best job of the evening because I get to introduce somebody who's really special uh, to you tonight, and her name is Edie Windsor, and uh, Newfest is uh, presenting our Visionary Award uh, it is NewFest's highest honor, and it's presented to pioneers who have made a significant difference in the lives of LGBT people, either through film or activism, and uh, Edie kind of covers both. Um, Edie has been a tireless activist uh, for her, her whole life for LGBT, life, for LGBT rights. And uh, I'm, I want to just give you a couple bullet points. I know there are people out there who watch Mad Men, and I want you to think of Mad Men as I'm telling you a couple bullet points because um, Edie wasn't just the secretary in the corner batting her eyelashes at her boss. Edie was one of the most innovative programmers at IBM during its heyday. Um, in 1956, she got a master's in math and was programming at UNIVAC. She started working at IBM in 1958. Uh, by 1968, she had been named the senior systems programmer, which is IBM's highest rank. And uh, she was later honored uh, as a pioneer in operating systems. Um, one cool fact I thought was that in the early 1980s, she took delivery of the very first PC to be delivered to a New York address, which I think is awesome. Um, and uh, the, the 1980s also saw the beginning of her lesbian and gay activism. Um, she's been involved in many, many of the ground floor movements uh, that have taken place in the LGBT community. She was a charter member of the task force. She was part of the founding core group that started the center um, and also the lesbian history archives. She anchored an early branch in a phone tree so that when there was uh, anti-gay, anti anti-LGBT defamation, the, the, the phone tree would mobilize and kind of spawn these instant demonstrations. And that was actually what later, you know, what, what became the first movements of uh, the, the, the first efforts of GLAAD. Um, so she has been on the ground floor of a lot. Uh, she made improvements, uh, many improvements in the lives of LGBT senior citizens. She's been very active in SAGE. She started Matrix, a home of our home, a home, Matrix, a home of our home is what it was called. And it's for uh, aging lesbians. Uh, she established the Edie Windsor Fund for Old Lesbians, which has a great idea. It awards grants to lesbians helping old lesbians. How, sad, how novel, how wonderful, right? Um, she was actually a, a founder and performer in Old Queers Acting Up. Um, and the entire time, she's been a tireless advocate for marriage equality. Um, I think maybe one of the most admirable things uh, in Edie's life is the 43-year relationship she had with Thea Spire. Um, that is something that is documented beautifully in a film called Edie and Thea, a very long engagement, and it's directed by, yeah, right, you guys saw it. Um, it was directed by Susan Muska and uh, Greta Olafstadter, who are, are here tonight, and I hope they will escort Edie up here. So. You can see them as well. Um, and I think it's also important to recognize the role of film uh, also as an activist tool because if all of this wasn't enough, all these like things I've told you about Edie's past, the, the most amazing thing I think maybe is that you are going to meet the person who probably has the best chance of overturning DOMA, of overturning the Defense of Marriage Act, right? <laughs> which is just quite a pinnacle of a, a very long list of successes. Um, after uh, Edie's wife, Thea, passed away, uh, Edie had a heart attack, and she, she fell uh, quite ill, 
And at that time, she said, you know, my feeling was we had a wonderful life together, and, and you know, I could die now. Um, but Edie never gives up, and it wasn't too long before she got an unfair estate tax bill that a same-sex couple would not have had to pay. And find, fighting that injustice um, really gave her another reason to live. She decided to sue the U.S. government, arguing that DOMA is unconstitutional because it violates the Equal Protection Clause. And in doing so, in fighting that injustice, she, she really found new, ma new motivation to keep going. Uh, she said, once I started the pursuit of this, it did become a reason for living, a great reason for living. And I couldn't agree more with that. Um, if I am one quarter as productive and effective and vivacious and beautiful as Edie is when I'm her age, I will consider it a, like a massive success. I can't believe this woman. And so in celebration of all that Edie has done for the LGBT community, and in anticipation of all the great things that she still has left to do, I'm gonna borrow a phrase from Edie, and I'm gonna say that I am absolutely thrilled out of my skull <laughs> to be able to present Newfest's second annual Visionary Award to Edie Windsor. this way. Uh, thank you so much, Newfest, and thank all of you for this humongous honor. It feels so fitting because except for my fierce sense of justice and fairness, which I got because I was the youngest member of my family and constantly uh, kind of get blamed, I got blamed for everything. So I became very fierce about that. But it, everything else that I done that seems brave and visionary is due to a love affair and a documentary film. And that's, that's absolutely true. In the early mainframe years, senior programmers from IBM and its customers met annually on alternating coasts to discuss and define, create programming theory and technical requirements and standards. And on the night before, we all met to drink and, and to tell our stories. So I learned whose kid had learned how to ride a two-wheeler bike, and I learned whose kid had, had been admitted to college, and went on like that, and I never said a word about myself. But then I fell in love with Thea Spire and realized that she loved me too, and I suddenly blurted out, hey guys, the most important thing in my life has happened that I'm not telling you, so I did. <laughs> and, okay. and, okay. and that was the beginning of my coming out. Once out, I was when I began working for the gay organizations. I did work with almost every gay organization that existed or was being formed in those early years. SAGE gave me a Lifetime Achievement Award for that for phase of my coming out. For just under 44 years, Thea and I lived together in love and joy, sharing all the joys and sorrows that came our way. Even in the face of day-to-day -day struggles, we both remained strong and joyous in our life and love. It was, it was said of us that we, had a, that we had a talent for wresting joy from the shite. <laughs> and when we decided with the help of Brendan, Brendan Fay, himself a documentary filmmaker, uh, to, to get married in Canada, uh, along came two documentary people, Susan Mosca and Greta Olaf Dottir, to document our life together. They produced and directed Edie and Thea, a very long engagement, which with Newfest's audience choice, which was Newfest's audience choice for best documentary in 2010, and has since won 23 other awards. Uh, when Thea passed away in February 2009, I was overcome with grief. In the midst of the grief, I had to, con con you know, I had to contend with DOMA. While New York State considered us married, the federal government did not, and in fact treated us as strangers, and, and of course taxed me as though we were strangers. 
Uh, because I had it documented, you talked about, okay, Kim, you talked about the importance of film. Because I had a documented marriage, I decided to sue the government to get my money back and to repeal DOMA as unconstitutional. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, I don't believe it would have occurred to me to do that without the documentary, and I don't believe I would have had the courage to do it without the documentary. We won, I think most of you know, we won in district court. Uh, we're now proceeding in both uh, the appeals court and simultaneously we're requesting entrance into the, the uh, oh God, <laughs> help me please. Supreme it, Court. Into Supreme Court, yeah. thank you, okay. <laughs> We don't yeah. settle for anything yeah. less. Yeah. So it feels so special to be honored by Newfest, who play such a large role in, exp in exposing the best of LGBT documentaries to the world. That's it. Thank you all again very much. Thank you.